Alrighty, welcome back to Dead by Daylight, here with our newly, kind of in probably desperate need of a clean, I can't be good for the mechanicals, uh, pig. And we have advanced a little ways, and our little 15 piggy, and I have nearly 200,000 points to spend. Uh, perks wise, we're missing a few kind of like good things here, but we have gotten Ruin Free, which can be hit or miss depending on exactly where the totem spawns, but can also utterly grind an entire match. And we've got Remember Me 1 from The Nightmare, which is free. Remember Me 1 is not the best version, actually. It's Remember Me 1, it's supposed to Remember Me 3. But, each time you hit your obsession, you increase the opening time of the exit gates by 5 seconds. Up to 20 additional seconds. That does go up to, I think, to, full, to a full 30 seconds. That can really stall out the end game, which is pretty good if you're the pig, because you're the pig, so you're usually aiming at the end game. Anyways, we have Whispers 1. So, sporadically hear the entity's whisper when standing within a 48 meter range of a survivor. Not, not the best, but still helpful. And the same with Nurse's Calling. So, see survivors who are healing or being healed within a 20 meter range. So, these two, great for finding people. These two, great for stall, which is good for us. We also have Devour Hope 1 down here, which doesn't do anything in the 1 to 4 tokens range, so it's pretty much an all or nothing. But at 5 tokens, grants the ability to kill survivors by your own hand. That's from the Hag, and that means I have to spend less on Moris, which is kind of helpful. Uh, other than that, we've got Iron Grasp 1, Hangman's Trick 1, Fire Up 1, Deer Stalker, we have Make Your Choice, Surveillance 1, and Unrelenting 1. And, yeah. I mean, make your choice is not horrible. Like I've mentioned that before, but just if I had a single clue exactly who it was that had just unhooked somebody, that would make things easier for me. Just give me like an icon above their head or something. I don't know. But other than that, uh, we don't really have much in the way of add-ons. We don't really have much in the way of offerings. But it is presently. If I can just find out where it is. There it is. It is presently Blood Hunt, which ends in two days, which is the Blood Hunt weekend, which is to say that blood points are doubled in the course of this weekend. So consequently, I'm going to do a couple of matches. Unfortunately, I don't have any dailies for the pig. I actually only have the one daily for the wraith that I'm still working on stacking, and a couple survivors that we'll probably get into for the next dailies by daylight. But for now, let's see if we can find a match. Okay, about a quarter of an hour later. Hey, we might actually have something. We are running Raven Reef, so that's basically a full 100% there. And we've got videotape and medical files, so here we go. Let's see how this goes. I am being very quick here because I don't want to lose a single person because I've waited so long to get a matching here. Oi. So, tarnished coin, more chests, unknown, escape cake, and my reef. Hmm, so somebody didn't put in an offering and somebody has a hidden offering. I wonder what that could be. Oh, this is a nice map for me. Ooh, okay. Treatment Theater, Larry's Memorial Institute. This is, I believe this is the doctor's map. And crucially, it is very strongly built as a circle. Oh, dead end. We got somebody nearby though. Not there. There is every possibility that they just find my totem after like touching a generator here, so who knows. I'm near somebody. But I'm not hearing any work on generators so far. size of this whisper is so huge, I actually don't know where anybody is. Oh, hello. Found somebody just there. <laughs> For but the blink of an eye! Oh. Feels like my frames are even more unpredictable than usual, I'm not sure what's going on with that. Okay, and that's a deviousness hit, so hurrah for me. The more deviousness I can get, the uh, 
more points than I get, pretty much, so. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> but they are grouping up to try and counteract the slowdown that results from ruin. Hi there! No, bad. Leave my gen alone. Oh, somebody just messed up. Hello again! You messed up in a slightly different fashion that time. Oh, can we get this guy? I wonder. Whoop. Hello, Claudette. How are you? Okay, she has definitely... Pretty much definitely seen my totem now, so... Now, unfortunately, she must perish. Ooh. Nice juke. Idiot. On my left. There you are. There is a mild possibility that she is part of a swift. Oh, I did not even see that pallet was there. And you can blind me from the pallet stun? I didn't even know that lasted long enough for that. Blimey. Oop, hello. Go ahead. See if and I care. I'm gonna be chasing you long enough here, so, uh... I am actually probably just putting a little too much time into her. No blind? No, no, no. Okay. Oh, you finally got one! Congratulations, you. I have no idea what the heck I just had so much noise in my ear from. Oh, they finally found him. Oh, mistimed. It is... Oh, that should not be how that goes. Criminy. Gotcha. I don't know, it somehow does not feel quite right that you can... You can blind the killer whilst you've just slammed a pallet on them. That seems a bit too good. Okay, well, you're the, uh... You're the obsession, so naturally I expect decisive strike. Really? That's... Yeah, that seems kind of busted, honestly. <laughs> okay, well, good hope escaping. Um, you've, you've made yourself quite an enemy, I'm afraid. Yeah, I see you. Now, your timer's not going to take down whilst I'm chasing you, but that's fine by me. You've used your decisive strike, but you're now, you're now going to need to be pretty glued. To a couple of boxes, so, uh... Guess now I try and find somebody else to play with. More deviousness, more deviousness points. Jeez, my tongue went weird there. Keep going. There you. Go. Okay, looks like they got the obsession up. Gotcha. Okay, you're going on a nice pride of place hook. Not quite as pride of place as maybe the obsession deserves, but you know. We're gonna find you a nice spot. And hey, you've managed to fall over right by the basements. A nice cushy spot down here though. Enjoy. Okay, let's patrol the boxes and see if we can find the obsession again. 
He's still injured. And they're down to two generators. Aye. We definitely spent a fair bit of time that we probably shouldn't have chasing the obsession, but... I mean, they're not the obsession for nothing. Okay, somebody in the basement. But again, gonna have to patrol the boxes if they want to get out of here by anything other than the hatch. Not here, okay. These other two are a lot closer together, thankfully. Nope, not here. And then there was one. You're also not here. Interesting. They're highlighted on her screen because they're active right now, so she must know where they are. I wonder what- oh, okay, apparently she did find them, it was just somehow I was at the wrong one. Okay, hmm. Well, let's get rid of this, because that's it. Now, the bright side is, because we've been hitting our obsession a fair bit this match, uh, it's going to take them another 15 seconds to open up the hatch at the end of this. Whoop, speak the devil. No, you're not gonna slam on me, okay. Fine. Oh, hello, Fang. I haven't seen you all game. And let's give this a kick, because they're clearly working on this a fair bit. Now, there's not too many generators left both for them to complete and to be completed, so they're running out of locations. I mean, if we can if we can channel them particularly well, we might just be able to get them to get stuck on one particular side of the map, which is a lot easier for us to patrol. I'm not in stealth right now, so consequently things are a little weird. Uh, these two over here would probably be the best option, so I kind, of want, I kind of want them to finish that one over there. Hello, David. No, not this one. Hello, David. I wasn't even in stealth that whole time. I'm surprised he didn't. He, I'm surprised he didn't uh, run sooner. Whoop. Hello, Claudette. I was very, very, very optimistic with that particular slash. I think. Points for all. It's fine by me. Come on, can I get Feng? Who is running me in quite a circle, it seems. Well, I know I'm near somebody. <laughs> Couldn't really say where, but I know I'm near somebody. Oh, David! Oh! Dang you, bed. Why must you betray me like this? We were allies once, beds. Keep running, you'll find this door quite hard to open. Oh, that burst. Go ahead, try it, I dare you. Although it seems they've already gotten it pretty half open. Okay, so Feng's getting out. Pretty much guarantee that, because I can't catch her. Yeah, there she goes. So that leaves Gabriel, who I'm not terribly certain I've seen this entire game. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Uh-uh. A good effort, but no. That's why we face the wall when we do that. Uh, 
Right, now, where has Claudette gone to? That's the question here. Yep. Claudette, or at least somebody nearby, has uh, gone to save David. But David cannot leave until he fit. There are two Davids. One of them seems to not understand uh, what this trap does. But okay. Yeah, it does that. <laughs> I don't quite know what he was thinking there. Wait a second. What did I just hear? Ooh, sprint burst. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. I get you. Well, hats off to that obsession. They were definitely very annoying. Which is sort of the uh, the obsession's job. They have their their whole purpose, more or less, is to be exceptionally annoying to draw attention from everybody else. Bye bye. No, you went to okay. There we go. Bye. You're a good sport. The obsession again. Okay. Are you are you just leaving, or are you actually gonna? Bye. No? Okay, are you- okay, right. <laughs> Interpreting survivor language is occasionally a bit of an art, but nonetheless. Good job for those survivors, they did very well and they were very annoying. <laughs> so, GG. <laughs> Unfortunate name. I have hopefully remembered to sort of just blank out for this uh, video, but nonetheless. Not my best performance, but two pips is enough to maintain rank if that's the thing you care about. 236k points, pretty nice. And we managed to get a bunch of, uh, a bunch of iridescent shards. That was with the names. Nice. It is worth knowing that the shrine is now accessible now, so you can actually go and buy perks again. And I might even buy one today, who knows. So surgical suture, purple flashlight, oh boy, with just max battery, just 10 seconds, 22 seconds full use, slightly reduced accuracy, beam brightness increased, blindness duration increased, and you can blind me just whilst I'm being stunned by something, so, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that David decided to just go straight into the exit there, that didn't quite make sense. But that's what the traps are for, they're for insurance. And okay, we've got 236,000 points. Let's see how this goes. Let's complete that, get to level 16. Uh, ooh, okay. No one escapes death. That's a good one to have. Only rank 1, but you know, we're getting there. Slow release toxin. We've seen that be very useful before. And, oh, we have a choice between Brutal Strength 1 or Make Your Choice 3. Now, if I pick this, I'm probably never going to use it, but if I pick this, it at least won't turn up, and I'll have a max ranked perk in my pool. So I'm tempted more to go for that. We've also got the Tampered Timer there. Tampered Timer is very good, very useful. We get access to both of them this way, so hopefully we can outrun the entity as it comes down here. And hurrah, we can. Okay. Okay, nurse is calling too. That's good. That's what we need. That and whispers would be good. That gets us to level 24. Where? It looks like our next one is surveillance too. Uh, oh well. So yeah, now we've got nurse is calling too. Not free. Not the best it could be. Still, we're still rocking whispers and uh, remember me one. But, uh, we at least have Spies from the Shadows, if we want to use that instead of Whispers, if we think that's going to be a bit more useful. 50% of the time, Crawling Crows give you a visual cue when you are within a 24 meter range. So this is a long- this is a larger range, but the smaller range makes it more- like, makes it easier to zero in on your target, so that's something to bear in mind. And we've got Make Your Choice for you, which, again, I don't- I don't much fan- like, I, I'm not a huge fan of that because I don't know which- which survivor has that status effect on them from this perk. I just know one of them does. Uh, but, hmm, it's a possibility. It's a possibility. And we also have third seal too, which, hmm, can be handy. And, we come, and just in case, we do have no ed. Whilst this hex is active, cooldowns on successful and missed attacks are decreased by 4%, and your movement speed is increased by 3. At the max rank, though, 
that makes everyone have exposed when the gates are powered, which is very powerful if you're if you're a late game killer like the pig. So that's something to bear in mind. And dearest talker is good if you've somehow lost a dying survivor. Uh, combine that with things like knockout and such, you can get some really good stuff. But let's take a look at the shrine and see which we'll pick. So third seal we already have. We can get another 150,000 points if we buy that uh, for 2,000 shards. And yeah, everything but stake out here is 2,700. Okay, I've got. I have tap. If I want to get that perk, I will just level tap. Um, I can level. I can level David as much as I like. Anyways, that would be a good perk to have right now if I had it on a survivor right now. But for the long term, you probably would just want to get grab that because it's DLC. I am probably going to go with overwhelming presence. I'm only able to currently afford one of these. Uh, in theory, in a couple more games, I could have another level and be able to get uh, another 150k points from this. So that's probably something we'll look at. There we go. Overwhelming presence from the Doctor, whom I do not have unlocked, so that's basically the only one I could have gotten that I didn't already have. So, yeah, and I can't actually even view his perks from here, so let's just navigate a little bit. And there we go. Okay. So, I now have the uh, first teachable of the Doctor, and I can get Monster and Abuse later on, or Overcharge. Overcharge is probably the best one of the lot from the Doctor, so if you kick a generator, there is a there is, there is a potential for a moderate to even worse skill check to happen, and failing it results in a 3% generator regression. But the main thing is that it makes it incredibly obvious where the survivors have recamped to. So if they're running around trying to complete all the generators and you just go around kicking all of them, you pretty much know exactly where they are when they next try to fix one. But uh, that is it for right now. I shall catch you all next time. Boop.